What's up guys, Ted from Rare Immersion here, and I'm back with a Kickstarter spotlight that doesn't really need a spotlight, but I want to put it out there for those of you who are unaware, or maybe new to 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons, or other fantasy style role playing games. Perhaps you've played Theater of the Mind and you want to start to break out into gridded combat. Uh, you like, uh, you want to have minis, you want to grow your existing mini collection, or you're just starting to collect minis, or you just like having you know, cool fantasy related figurines. Uh, so this is my Kickstarter spotlight for Reaper Bones uh, Series 4. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with Reaper Minis well, 1 and you're looking into getting minis in the first place, familiarize yourself with Reaper Minis. Uh, obviously, there are a ton of mini manufacturers out there, so I don't want to discredit any other ones. But, and you've seen me do countless unboxing videos here on the channel for the WizKids pre-painted minis that are the official Dungeons & Dragons minis, which are good. They are tied to look like 5th edition minis, and they're usually keyed to whatever the current uh, campaign is happening. Reaper minis are, especially the Bone series, are a uh, resin mini, but it's a special type of uh, like Reaper Bone specific resin. I think it's called like Bonesium or something, you know, something of that nature. I don't know if it actually states uh, what they are, but we'll all right, we'll come back. Anyway, uh, they're really high quality minis. There's a I have a, like a whole bunch just right here off camera. I don't know if I'll be able to put these up close enough for you to really make out what they look like because I don't know if it's going to go into focus or not. But uh, either way, I've done a review of these guys here on the channel. You can kind of. See, there's a bunch of detail on these guys. They're really good. They take paint exceptionally well. They only need to be washed. They don't even need to be primed, technically. Uh, and they, especially if you choose to go for the Reaper set of paints, they take them exceptionally well. But that's not what this is about. This is about Series 4. So, as you can see, it's 23 days in, and it's $1.1 million funded on a goal of 30000 I think everybody knew this was going to get funded day one and then get blown way out of uh, the water here. So, what do you get? Well, first of all, there's a little intro here. The base core set is $100. I was thankfully lucky enough to get into Wave 1, which they go up to, like, Wave 10 on these. And that's basically, everybody can still back it, but it's just what order you receive your minis in. So I don't think it actually says when we're going to get these minis. Oh, February 20... Estimated delivery, February 2019. So it's, like two years from now uh, almost a year and a half next year and then the following february is when i should be getting my set of minis and i'm in wave one so if we scroll down a little bit and look how further out we go um these are the one just the basic pledges wave eight it still says february of 19 so it may be it'll be significantly later than that like i was in reaper bones three wave eight and i got mine only a couple months a couple weeks ago uh, maybe a month or two ago but uh there's a little story here a little comic but and then there's all these goals so we'll talk about this and then more goals and we'll talk about those so what do you get for your 100 dollars core pledge this is the base set of minis you'll get everything you see here these kind of we've got a female paladin looking fighter kind of a dancer this looks like maybe a naked chick or some chick by like a graveyard. This kind of orc or ogre looking heavy armored creature. This kind of Conan barbarian type creature. An owl bear, maybe a dire owl bear. This sweet 275 millimeter tall dragon mini. It's kind of a weird bipedal dragon. This is a knight, like a typical mini for scale. Um, again, more of these fighters, a cool wizard. This sort of humanoid bipedal rat I'm guessing uh, this kind of darker looking paladin maybe a witch or a wraith type creature it's kind of hard to see it looks like there's a hat there so a witch some kind of pikeman a dragonborn with wings maybe a half dragon looks like a swashbuckler sword and dagger we've got a pig pulling a cart full of pumpkins and uh, this kind of chicken paladin guy and then these 24 goblin minis. So, you know, again, you want to grow. You need a lot of mooks types, like creatures like this for any of your major encounters at low levels. 
Bones 3, it was lizard folk. So I have a ton of lizard folk. This one was goblins. So as you can see here, we got goblin archers, great sword wielders, sword and board, and so on. That was the base set. For $100, that's what you got. Now, as with every Reaper uh, Kickstarter, you can see that was for 30000 And as we go up, we get all these additional things unlocked. So the way that works is there are certain things that are unlocked that are just added to the core set. So if you only pledge $100, you get everything I showed you plus these other things, and then there are stuff you can add optional after the fact. So if you pledge $100 originally, you just got all that we just talked about. But because people have unlocked stretch goals, they added this gray beard set. So that's these four wizards. These five townsfolk minis. These dire consequences. So we look like we have a dire crocodile, dire boar, dire crab. They added these five knight figurines. These six goblins in armor figurines. These four, they're called minotaurs because they're not like they're, you know, medium sized minotaurs. Then these bedeviled figures, we've got some sort of succubus uh, and two, like, kind of horned demons here, one with a, like, a kind of an auric type uh, kopesh, and one with a trident. Then we added some kobold mooks, we got six kobolds. Then we got a wyvern, it's a little bit bigger for scale, uh, a griffin. And now the ape attack, these three kind of, uh, you know, two look just like regular gorillas, one's kind of wearing armor and has a sword. And then they also have these chibi minis, and we've unlocked this Almoran character here has been added. So right now, if you donate $100, you get all of what I just told you, plus this character here, and these will again be unlocked over time, these other chibi figures. Then, there's the optional rewards, where you can donate additional money on top of that to get these early and usually for cheaper. So for $10, you can add these six Wraith figures, so that would be $110. And again, you get the point, I'm not going to go through that. If you wanted to get these two Hill Giants, $10, that's $110. If you did both, it's $120. So you would just adjust your pledge to the amount you want, and you would get those. So you don't have to do these, and there probably will be more money once they're in full production and purchasable from Reaper down the road. So if you can afford it to get them now, now is the time. For $15, you can get this sweet, it's Narglouth, which is basically a Baylor, as you can see. Here's the size of the, uh, the knight as a scale with the big flaming sword and the long whip, and, you know, it's, it's a Baylor. There's these high roller minis, which are basically little figurines that are shaped like each of the polyhedral dice. This fire giant huntsman that comes with its large dog here, Mastiff. Again, knight for scale. You can get this set of paints. You got, you know, uh, these again are the Reaper paints that I was telling you about. $18 is paint set A to help paint these. $12 gets you all these trolls along with this saber tooth like pug here. For $12, you get all those. $12, you can get Rocky the Red, which are these cute little, almost chibi red dragon figurines. $15 gets you a dragon turtle, and you can see the size comparison on that. And $12 will get you skeletal monsters. Looks like a skeletal owl bear, maybe a dragon, and then, you know, some other type of winged creature, and then, like, some skeletal pieces. So that, these are all optional. There also is the optional $50... Uh, donation for the chrono scope expansion so this is more of your sci-fi stuff so for fifty dollars you'll get all of these minis like triceratops looking guys again futuristic kind of mechs aliens these are basically mars attacks minis right here you can see kind of from the heads you get some people gunslingers uh, some sort of more space aliens but these were also part of the expansion so these have been added as well more robots kind of demons, slug looking creatures, lizard creatures, and these have been added as well, um, which looks like a pterodactyl creature, some pylons, te teleporters, maybe uh, some gas cans. So again, uh, small world heroes will be added to core when the goal is met. We have these other ones to be met. We were at 1,122,700. If it goes up to 1,125,000, these Naga, these six Naga creatures, are then added to your base goal for free. Uh, then, next up after that is if we hit 1,170,000. If 
For $15, you can get these optional Spartan statues. Uh, both the smooth texture and the stony texture and the statues pop off of the bases for combat. And then at 1.2 million, wait no, 1 million 210,000 female fighters, these four female fighting characters will be added. And we don't know what's coming next, but there will be more. And typically these go significantly higher, like to the two to three million dollar range. But I just wanted to, again, there's more info from why they're doing this and all that. And here's your pledge manager links and things of that nature, where they ship, shipping prices, etc. So, like I said, this is Reaper Minis. I don't really feel like I need to do a Kickstarter spotlight, but I'm doing one to put the word out there for you guys that may not know. And also, the more people who join up and donate to, or donate and, and back this uh, Kickstarter, the more cool stuff everybody gets to unlock. You can see we're on the second tile here. Um, we are almost there, then we'll move on to the Spartan statues, then here we have another one on this tile before we move on. And there is, as you can see, uh, little updates to the comic we were just talking about. Uh, you know, like they beat this, they got to Rocky, which is the last one here. And right now, it looks like if you jump now, you can get into, there's one left for Wave 2 for North, Central, and South America. Uh, and there are, this is wave, I don't actually see the wave number here. Where was the wave number? Wave two. There's just one here. It's for Australia, New Zealand, Asia here. Wave nine is the next level for North South America. So, so for some reason people have been backing wave nine and there's still one wave two left. So that means you'll get those sooner. So again, uh, then here's wave 10 people already backing wave 10 so get them while you can reaper minis are fantastic i use a ton on the channel here i mean yes i do print my own 3d printed minis but reaper minis are cheap there's such a wide variety of them at this point that they'll probably have just about anything you could want um they're high quality like i said i like them a lot and I mean, I really am kicking myself for not increasing my pledge when the last, when the Bones 3 set came out to not get some of the really cool stuff that was in that. So trust me when I say, if you can afford it and can do it, and it's in your plan, spend a little extra and grab some of the optional minis that you like, like a Baylor or a Dragon Turtle or things that are cool like that that you probably won't be able to see because you know that's going to be worth more than $15 and going to cost more when it finally comes into full production. You've got 23 days to join. Kickstarters always jump up several hundreds of thousands of dollars in the last couple days. Uh, those are usually the biggest two selling days for a Kickstarter. It's the first two or three days, and then the last two or three days. So I'm sure we're going to see a large increase, and these guys are going to be out at conventions, and you can pick up the minis and see them in person. Uh, sometimes places even do paint and take minis with the Reaper stuff. So be sure to check those out. I just really wanted to let you guys know that this is out there. It's going on now. And uh, because I love Reaper products and want to see more cool stuff for myself, I want you guys to be able to experience it as well. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'll see you next time.